Hip K presents the $5 Liquor Lens. I'm an avid photographer and like to take my camera to a lot of places, and they may frown upon you bringing your own beverage. Well, it's time for a little covert carry. Oh, and if you haven't seen it, I'll show you a sneaky way to drink a beer at the end of this video. Now, don't break any laws with this project. You're on your own. I recently picked up this off-brand telephoto lens at a garage sale for five bucks, so here we go. You'll need a set of really small screwdrivers for this project. The first step is to remove the lens mount, and that's at the back of the lens, and there's going to be a few screws, and the lens mount should come right out. Then the aperture guide and the aperture ring will come out. Two more rings unscrewed, which gave me access to the lens hood, and that also unscrewed and came out. Remember, whatever lens you use might be slightly different. I needed to scrape off some glue from a ring before I could unscrew it to reveal the largest glass lens element. Once that's out, you could use it for some crazy video fun. Ooh, that's creepy. And right below that, another lens element fell out. Big eyed, big tooth freak. One more ring unscrews and then the entire aperture assembly will come out. We won't be using that at all, so that can go away. We've removed everything from the lens mount and now it's time to assemble our liquor lens. The focus guide and aperture ring go back on, and the rear lens mount is screwed back in place. Now it's time for some super glue, because we need that in order to glue in the lens hood, because it has nothing to screw onto. Now you're going to end up with all kinds of springs and screws and stuff. Add those to your parts box for a future project. Our lens is gutted, and the last step is to put on the body cap, and we're also going to super glue that in place, because it doesn't need to come off. I found the perfect container, a little spice jar. I removed the label, cleaned it up real good, and rinsed the inside, and now it's ready to be used in our liquor lens. Now this container holds about three ounces, which is good for about three shots. If you had a bigger lens, you could probably find a bigger container to put inside. Close the cap nice and tight, and put our container inside our liquor lens. And the last step, close it up with the lens cap. Now the next time you pack your camera bag, don't forget your $5 liquor lens. You may get thirsty on that next shoot, and no one but you will know what's inside. Click here to see a sneaky way to drink a beer, or there's a link in the description of this video. That's how to make a $5 liquor lens. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.